Uh, good evening, uh, distinguished speakers, as well as the uh, esteemed delegates and participants. Welcome to this 41st virtual UNICEF Global Meet. A, a beautiful gathering here. I think a very good number of people are participating under the UNICEF India initiative. We extend a uh, full welcome to each of you joining us for every corner of the globe. It's a truly privilege to have such a diverse group of individuals, all sharing a common passion for space exploration and innovation. Today, as we convene under the theme Small Satellite Initiatives in India, the big benefits to academia, we embark on a journey that holds immense significance, especially in the realm of student-centric initiatives in the new space era. This theme resonates deeply with me as it underscores the profound impact that small satellites have in academia and particularly within Indian context. Let's go into the few, 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 few points where small satellites will make a significant impact in campuses. I, I thought that there are four ways. One is on educational empowerment. This initiative offers a significant boost to space engineering by providing hands-on and practice-based opportunities, perfectly aligning with the objectives set by the National Educational Policy of 2020 of the Government of India in the context of Indian students or Indian institutions. Students are not just learning theories, but actually, actually engaging in designing, building, and deploying small satellites particularly the cube satellites, gaining invaluable real-world experience. The second is on the research opportunities which are created. The era of, era of small satellite as well as the cube satellites or nano satellites open up great research opportunities in the fields of earth ob earth observation, atmospheric sciences, and communication technologies. The student-centric approach to research fosters innovation Advancing the knowledge and encourages students to tackle complex problems with creative and innovation solutions in space. The third is interdisciplinary collaboration. Small satellite initiative provides the perfect platform for fostering collaboration among diverse academic backgrounds. From academia to research labs to industry to government, those initiatives bring together stakeholders from all sectors to work towards common goals, driving innovation and progress. Fourth, competency development. Perhaps one of the most significant benefits of those initiatives is the development of skills and the creation of career opportunities for students. As the space industry evolves, so do the skill requirements. And those initiatives ensure that the students are equipped with the necessary competencies to thrive for future job markets. Moving out of India's role on these initiatives with the support of UNICEF, the first thing is India's space policies and India's space agencies, which are driving this uh, space-related activities in India, particularly Department of Space, ISRO, NSIL, in space, are immensely strengthened to the academia, the student-related activities in. CubeSat developments. India stands as a dynamic hub for a small satellite initiative, boasting a vibrant ecosystem that encompasses academia, research institutions, startups, and government agencies. Groundbreaking initiatives like a Semicon India, the evaluation of CubeSat sector, exemplary India's innovation and self reliance in space technologies. The Semicon India initiative, for instance, underscores India's commitment to self-reliance in electronics and semiconductors. By increasing indigenous capacities in designing, manufacturing, launching of both rockets and satellites, this initiative paves the way for a brighter future in space technology, more specific on small satellites. Similarly, organizations like the Indian Technology Congress Association are playing a pivotal role in driving the transformation of the CubeSat sector through initiatives like the flagship 75 student satellite mission, ITC is nurturing creativity, startups, research institutions, 
empowering students to become the innovators of tomorrow. Thanks to UNICEF contributions and support towards this. Furthermore, collaborations with the Karnataka state government are enhancing space awareness among students in state-run schools, creating ripple effect that extends far beyond the classroom walls. Over 0.25 million students reached through these initiatives of 75 sites quizzes, essay competitions across the schools under the Punit Sat. The prospects of launching 75 satellites by Academia in India, facilitated by Department of Space agencies like ISRO and the Government of India, marks a momental milestone in the journey of space exploration. It's a testament to the power of collaboration, the limitless potential of human ingenuity. UNICEF UNICEF insights are paramount in all those initiatives we thank to UNICEF Global. As we look ahead to the speaker's topics and meeting objectives, I encourage each of you to seize this golden opportunity to forge collaboration, share insights, contribute to the future of small satellite endeavors. I extend my warmest welcome once again to all present and attendees. May this 41st virtual UNICEF Global meeting Ignite a spark of inspiration, fuel boundless innovation, and show the show the disseminate of transformative ideas that will shape the future of space exploration in small satellites in academia. Thank you, and let me make this meeting a resource and resounding successful. Thank you.